This is the busy bag. This bag contains lots of plain activities that I carefully selected for my two-year-old. They are simple and lightweight and really engaging. It requires no cleanup and it can be stashed in a carry-on bag without taking up too much space. This is hopefully going to keep my toddler quiet, entertained and happy on the flight. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Hazy. I'm a working mom of a two-year-old toddler named Alina. We are flying with Alina for the first time, so we are super excited and at the same time, we're a little nervous because we're not sure how things are going to go. So I decided to make a busy bag for Alina. So in today's video, I thought I would share what activities we had in our busy bag and how Alina went with the toys that I prepared for her on the flight. So we are traveling from Brisbane to Melbourne. It's only like two and a half hours on the flight, but we will get to the airport put a lot earlier than usual because you just never know things can go wrong and we have extra little person and extra luggage so we just needed extra buffer room just in case something happened so the total traveling time from home to the hotel in Melbourne is about six hours plus I'm hoping that this busy bag is going to keep her busy and happy while traveling so without further ado let's jump right into it Firstly, I'm just going to quickly DIY a couple of activities. You need popsicle sticks and velcro dots. You just stick hook on one side and loop on the other side. I made about a dozen of them. You can recycle old popsicle sticks or just purchase them from Kmart or Dollar Tree. You can make different shapes with them. You can just simply stick them and pull them apart. You can be really creative and do lots of different activities with them. They don't take up much space at all and they are so cheap to make so no one's going to get upset if you lose one or two of them while traveling. And the next thing I'm going to make is puzzles. Typically wooden puzzles are bulky and heavy and you really don't want to lose any pieces on the go. So I decided to cut some of our animal flashcards into four pieces. They are lightweight, it's very space saving and it's really engaging activities for toddlers. So I think it ticks all the boxes in sort of plain toys that we want. The next activity is threading activity. I got some wooden beads. These are like three bucks from Linkcraft. This thread is from our threading activity kit that we already have. You can use any sort of thread. I got one of those hairy wire as well, which is a lot easier for toddlers to manipulate than regular threads. With the next activity, you need some sort of spice container or a toothpick container with an opening looking like this. You also need some cotton tips in it so your child can thread inside it and shake the container to get them out. Cotton tips can turn into like of different activities as well such as painting all you need is some water and tissue which you can easily get on the flight and let your child paint on the tissue it's so simple to set up and easy to clean up so make sure you have enough q-tips in your child's busy bag now let's start packing the busy bag so this is a hanging travel toiletry bag that is foldable and has multiple pockets so you can keep all the activities and loose parts neatly stacked and retrieve them easily on the go it has a hook so you can actually hook it on the back of the seat on the plane and this allows your child to see all of the activities at a glance and access independently These are puffy reusable stickers. Kids can peel off and stick them on the back of the seat or stick them on the windows. Unlike regular stickers, which can be pretty messy as they are hard to remove from the surface, these kind of puffy stickers are reusable, is to peel off, and it's really entertaining. I think these are like my number one plane toy. Alina actually spent most of her time on the flight playing with these stickers.
Now we arrived at the airport about two hours before the flight. This is her very first time seeing this bag. I packed everything when Alina wasn't around, so she has no idea what's inside the bag, so it's all new and very exciting. So make sure your child don't see the content of the bag before the flight to keep it interesting. So the very first items she grabbed out of the busy bag were the tape and the animal figurines. So we decided to tape the animals on the table and do animal rescue activity. This went for about 20 minutes or so, so my husband and I took turns and went for a walk and grabbed some drinks and stuff, so it was great. were served on the flight, I filled up the spray bottle with a bit of water and let Alina play with it and I made sure that she only sprayed water on the tissue. Once she's done with the spray bottle, then I let her do some painting on the tissue with some cotton tips and this went on for a while. Alina usually loves threading activity but for some reason she wasn't really into it so we just moved on. and I was on my phone and Alina was really quiet for a while and I found Alina picking velcro dots off the sticks which was not part of my plan but I was like whatever keeps her occupied you know so I just let her work on her fine motor skills and your large electronic devices such as a laptop computer will need to be packed away now please so this is it I hope you guys find this video useful I'm flying solo with Alina later this year internationally which is gonna be like 15 hours of flight so I'll do another video like this as in like international flight version so if you're new you might want to consider subscribing to my channel and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye